Here is the Avast Security News Roundup for the week ending February 17, 2023. Stalkerware type app developers fined by New York Attorney General. Stalkerware is a huge problem when it comes to intrusion into people's personal lives. Friends, strangers, family members, abusive spouses, and many more can potentially dabble in this maligned pastime and cause all manner of trouble for their target. Thanks to the New York Attorney General's office, some folks will shortly be made aware of a little extra something lurking in their devices. After it landed a developer with a $410,000 fine and a requirement to notify people that their devices are running monitoring software. Read more at Malwarebytes Labs. Apple's iOS, iPad OS, Mac OS, and Safari under attack with new zero day flaw. Apple on Monday rolled out security updates for iOS, iPad OS, Mac OS, and Safari to address a zero day flaw that it said had been actively exploited in the wild. Tracked as CVE 2023-23529, the issue relates to a type confusion bug in the WebKit browser engine that could be activated when processing maliciously crafted web content, culminating in arbitrary code execution. The iPhone maker said the bug was addressed with improved checks adding it's aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. An anonymous researcher has been credited with reporting the flaw. If you haven't updated your devices, do it now. Read more at The Hacker News. Namecheap email system hacked. Customers receive phishing scam. Domain registrar and hosting service Namecheap's customers got an unexpected message from the company this weekend informing them that they need to pay a $6.95 fee to complete a DHL parcel delivery. However, the message is a phishing scam made to look real using the official Namecheap.com domain. Discerning users spotted the phishing email and reached out to Namecheap CEO Richard Kirkendall via Twitter. The company chief replied that the company was looking into the issue and shared a cyber news story that reported an API leak involving third-party email clients, MailChimp, MailGun, and SendGrind, alluding that this incident may be connected to the phishing scheme. Read more at ReviewGeek. Microsoft releases patches for three actively exploited window vulnerabilities. Microsoft on Tuesday released security updates to address 75 flaws spawning its product portfolio, three of which have come under active exploitation in the wild. The updates are in addition to 22 flaws the window maker patched in its Chromium-based Edge browser over the past month. Out of the 75 vulnerabilities, 9 are rated critical and 66 are rated important in severity. 37 out of the 75 bugs are classified as remote code execution flaws. 3 are zero-day exploits that have been exploited in the wild. Again, if you have not updated your system, do it ASAP. Read more at The Hacker News. Expert warn of Beep, a new evasive malware that can fly under the radar. Cybersecurity researchers have unearthed a new piece of evasive malware dubbed Beep that's designed to fly under the radar and drop additional payloads onto a compromised host. It seemed as if the authors of this malware were trying to implement as many anti-debugging and anti-VM anti-sandbox techniques as they could find. Minerva Labs researcher Natalie Zargarov said one such technique involves delaying execution through the use of the BEEP API function, hence the malware's name. Read more at the Hacker News. MSYSOFT says hackers are spoofing its certs to breach networks. A hacker is using fake code signed certificates 
impersonating cybersecurity firms Emsisoft to target customers using its security products, hoping to bypass their defenses. In a new security advisory, Emsisoft warned that one of its customers was targeted by hackers using an executable signed by spoof Emsisoft certificate. The company believes this was done to trick the customer into thinking any detection were a false positive and to allow the program to run. Read more at Bleeping Computer. Ransomware Gang uses New Zero Day to steal data of 1 million patients. A prolific ransomware operation is back with old tricks and new victims. Community Health Systems, one of the largest healthcare providers in the United States with close to 80 hospitals in 16 states, confirmed this week that criminal hackers access the personal and protected health information of up to 1 million patients. As a result of the security breach experienced by Fortra, protected health information and personal information of certain patients of the company's affiliates were exposed by Fortra's attacker, according to the filing by Community Health Systems, which was first spotted by databreaches.net. The healthcare giant added that it would be offer identity theft protection services and notify all affected individuals whose information was exposed, but said there had been no material interruption in its delivery of patient care. Read more at TechCrunch. This week's must-read on the Avast blog. Read Avast's article on smishing the elephant in the room. Be vigilant and cautious when receiving text messages from unknown or unexpected sources. Read the article at the link listed, or watch my video on this topic at the YouTube link listed. Did you know? Samsung was founded as a grocery store back in March 1st, 1938. Echo Bay was almost the name of eBay, but the domain name EchoBay.com was already registered by a mining company. So the company's owner simply shortened the Echo Bay term to eBay.com. In advertisements for the iPhone, the time is almost always set to 9.41 a.m., which was the time of day that the original iPhone was introduced to the world by Steve Jobs. Just thought you might want to know. And that wraps up another week of the Avast Security News Roundup. Stay safe, stay secure, and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.